G'day everybody, I'm Ben the Spider Seeker and today we'll be moving Minerva into a new enclosure as well as introducing her to Harry. Harry is a male Hadronici Vesuta or Blue Mountains Funnelweb. That just happens to also be the species that Minerva belongs to, but Minerva is a female. Now, the reason I want to introduce them is mainly out of interest, so I can see their process of what they do and how they do it. Now, all I'm doing at the moment is trying to isolate Harry, the male Blue Mountains funnel web, just into a little jar so I know exactly where he is. Because when I introduce them, I don't actually want to introduce them too close together. I want them to find each other themselves. Now I'm chasing him a little bit because he's being difficult. And you can see he's not the happiest of spiders. Because, well, I just destroyed his entire home that he'd spent a couple of weeks building. But now he's contained. Next up, we want to get Minerva out. Now this is Minerva's old enclosure. I showed it in a bit more detail in the last video. But the issue I have is that getting her out isn't so easy. Because she usually hangs out at the bottom. And I can't easily coax her out. And once she is out, I can't easily contain her because she has a couple of entrances at the top that you can see there. Now all I'm doing is when I do find her, which you can see there, I just pointed to, I want to make sure I keep her at the top as I'm digging through. Now that's because if there are any burrow collapses, I want to make sure that she is well and truly away from them. So I don't want her getting crushed, basically. Now, this took me a little while because I was being quite careful, but once I was getting close, I started to remove some of the soil that I'd dug out, just to make sure that it didn't get too close to the top of the container I was digging her into. Now I'm just trying to make her a little hole that she might run out of. And I've also switched from a metal pair of tweezers to a plastic straw. The idea being the plastic straw is less likely to do any damage if I happen to poke the wrong spot. But now she's exposed and she comes out. Now I do my usual method of catching her, where I just put the jar in and sort of try and guide her into it. Now, this is a bit silly there because I know that funnel webs tend to run around the outside of the enclosure, just like every spider, but I put the container dead smack in the middle. That doesn't matter. Just adjust as we go. And of course she goes in the opposite direction. But as you can see, even though I've literally just dug up her entire home and I was poking her in the face with a straw, she didn't actually strike until now. And that was because she was completely trapped. Now we go over and we introduce them. Here, all I'm doing is putting them in the same place together. Now, I was a bit nervous at this point because Minerva is significantly larger than Harry. Harry over on the left there, Minerva on the right. But they both sat in their threat posture for about an hour. So, we're now in a very fast time lapse. So, in the meantime, just to pass the time, I might put some music on.
Now, Minerva calmed down first, and while I was changing camera angles, she actually went for a bit of a run. Which, of course, startled Harry, so he's backed into the corner a little more. But he's calming down now, and about to go for a run himself. Now, he's face to face with Minerva, and you can see just how much bigger she is. But, that's not going to put him off. So now we've switched into real time, and this is probably going to be the longest part of the video because the entire mating takes about five minutes. You can see Harry there, he's just tapping. Minerva's a bit hesitant, so she's striking out a little bit just so he keeps his distance, just until she's sure about what's going on. Now he's still tapping, and he's vibrating so strongly, you can actually see some of the moss up the top of the screen vibrating as well. He's also waving his spinnerets around at the back of him, laying down some silk, and he's waving his palps about as well. His palps are the two shorter limbs, so they're not legs. So he's got his eight legs, he's also got two palps out the front. Now on males, these are modified. They have sort of a little hook on them. Some other spider species, they just look like they're swollen, but most of the Mygalomorphs, which is all the tarantulas, funnel webs, trapdoors, all of those spiders, tend to have a slightly modified palp. Now he's slowly just trying to get to her underside, because that's where the business takes place. Now he's a bit of an awkward angle because she's pressed up against the moss, but He's slowly working his way around. And you can see just how careful he's being. Because Minerva is a huge spider when it comes down to it. And Harry ultimately isn't actually that big. Even though he is a mature male, he's not very big as far as large male funnel webs go. But Minerva seems to like him. So for a little while, we might switch back to the music, just so you can watch for yourself and see what's going on. It seems Minerva's finally accepting Harry. So it's taken him some tapping and moving around, but he's finally worked the right angle and Minerva's accepted. So they'll sit like this for a little while, just to make sure everything is done as well as it needs to be. Now it's in Harry's best interest that he does it right the first time because it's more than likely he won't get a second chance, at least not with Minerva. Because it's more than likely she's not going to be too happy with him once they're finished. And you can see straight away 
Minerva's into a go away posture. But Harry is still trying to just tap and see if she's willing to continue. Now he's not being threatening at all. He's just making his way around and seeing if he can possibly get a second attempt. But it doesn't look like this time Minerva's going to have a bar of it. Because she's reared up in a threat posture. She's not looking away from him at all. And there we go. That's a definite go away. And Harry once again just taps her a little bit just to see if it was really a go away. And off she goes. So Harry at this point starts to accept that it's done. The date's over. So now we can work on separating them and getting Minerva into a new home. So just to recap, that's her new burrow. And we're going to be putting her in. Now, sorry about the hands here, but I want to make sure I place her as close to the burrow entrance as possible. Which I do. I place her right in front of the entrance. Basically facing into it. Now she sits there for a little while. So much so that I have to change the angle a little bit just so I can work in around her. And eventually I just poke her in and in she runs. Now once she's comfortable in there, what I would hope is she starts filling it with web. And as you can see, she's raced right down to the bottom. And where that sponge is, you can see that it's wet, but it may not quite be wet enough. And she might decide to burrow elsewhere, which is fine. I'll just work on getting the parameters of the burrow right. And maybe fill it in with a little more soil so she's a bit more comfortable. But we'll see how it goes. Now, she has ended up at the moment, just as an update, burrowing on the other side of the tank. So I'm working on building up the humidity in the burrow. And when I'm ready, I might dig her up and have another go at introducing her into the burrow I can see in. Other than that, the mating seems to have been successful. Harry's alive, Minerva's alive, and Minerva's in her new home, nice and happy. Hope to see you next time, and have a happy new year.